In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the stamp tool. And the stamp tool belongs to the sandbox toolbar and if you do not have that toolbar turned on you can find it under view toolbars. So there is a resource file that you can use relating to this tutorial and you can just download that onto your computer. Once it's downloaded onto your computer go to file open and open the stamp tool.skp file. So we have here a contoured site. We have um, a platform that we wish to then stamp into the site. And we have a foundation and a floor plan. So first what we need to do is we can explode the, the group that it came in. So we can right click on that and go explode and that will just break it up into pieces. Then what we need to do is we need to create a contoured site from the contour lines. So get your select tool, drag the boxes around those contour lines, then click on the from scratch tool. And there's a tutorial under the same box toolbar um, series called from scratch tool and you can learn how to use the from scratch tool if you need a bit more practice with that. Then what I want you to do is to select everything, so select the contours and the contour lines, then hold shift down on your keyboard and click on the 3D contours. That will deselect the contours, leaving just the contour lines selected. Then we can press delete on our keyboard or the red X up under the standard toolbar to delete those and it will just leave us with the, the contoured surface, which is perfect. Next what we want to do is use the stamp tool. So you need to click on the stamp tool. You then need to click on the platform that you wish to stamp into the site, which is this one here. Click on that. And what will happen is it will give you an offset. So this is the, the batter of the, the cut. And the less values, the, the less angle of the, the batter. So if I was to just type in 1 and enter, would virtually have no offset um, and if I was to type in uh, 800 for example we would have a little bit more of an offset. So leave the offset a little bit high and then once you've selected the top platform click on the, the contours and they'll now just be stamped into the site. And then we can just adjust it to, to where we think looks good and that looks pretty good. Now we have a nice flat platform for us to place our foundation onto. So we can then delete or just turn off um, this platform using a layer. And we'll learn about layers in the, the layer tips tutorial. And I might just move that out of the way for now. So just in case you might want to use that platform again um, just to modify the shape. And it, it can be a good time, a good thing to. Um, to keep the contours, the, the original ones, just in case you do want to come back and modify it again. Then what we're going to do is going to select the, the foundation plan here, get the move tool, move that down onto the platform, and if you can't quite find the platform, what you can do is once it's on the blue axis, hold shift, touch the platform, click, then let go shift and with the push pull tool we can now right click on that and go edit component and just push pull that foundation up maybe uh, 200. So you can see here we can start to build up on top of the contours and then next you would just get the floor plan again with the move tool click on that go down on the blue axis this time instead of holding shift maybe you just press the up arrow once on your keyboard touch the top of the foundation and click and now it's been aligned on top of that foundation for you to start to draw your model. So just a great way of creating 3D contours, stamping a platform into your site and then overlaying your floor plan to start 3D modeling on top of.